Now, eloquence was highly prized in the ancient world. And thus, even today, still, thus we need to learn the methods and strategies of effective speech. How do public speaking similar or differ to conversations? Many of us are not having any problem carrying out conversation to close friends, with family members, with the classmates. But when it comes to delivering a speech or engaging in public speaking, many of us will put it aside and push other people forward rather than having us to do it, right? Why is that? So what is the difference? How is it similar between the two, public speaking and conversation? Why it's easier to have a conversation with the person next to you, but many of us would prefer not to go up on the stage or be in front of everyone and speak up in a public speaking. Let's take a look. Public speaking and conversation are similar in a way that, number one, we still have to organize our thoughts and organize our message. Otherwise, our message will come out gibberish or out of order and the message is not delivered fully. Number two, we still need to tell our message to the intended audience. For example, we speak differently when we speak to our lecturer in comparison to when we speak to our peers or friends. And number three, in both occasions, we tell a story for maximum impact. Remember, when we talk our friends, our intonation, our eyes light up, body language. In public speaking as well, there are sets of body language and strategies that we can use for maximum impact. And number four, we have to adapt to listeners or audience feedback, meaning we react to the way they act to our message through their facial expressions, their verbal response or physical response. So here on the list, we have listed four ways public speaking similar to conversation. Now, how are these two different? how is public speaking is different in comparison to conversations? Firstly, in public speaking, it is more structured. There is introduction, there's the body parts and the conclusion. And there is also a time allocated for us to deliver the speech. And after the speech, there is a question and answer sessions normally, which is not a part of having a conversation. Secondly, public speaking is more of a formal situation that's required the use of formal language. In a way, in a formal situation, we try to avoid slang or jargon or bad grammar. Third, public speaking is a different method of delivery, the voice, must be clear, posture, because normally when we stand in front of the public delivering a public speech, we don't slouch, right? But when we're having conversation, you can have conversation lying down flat on your back with a pillow, right? Sitting on the pillow, but that doesn't happen in a public speaking engagement. And we try as well to avoid distracting mannerism. For example, sometimes you are not aware. Um, sometimes some people have a habit of, well, keep touching their hair or the distracting hand movement here and there. Too much body movement sometimes can be distracting. And lastly, of course, the verbal habit. All of us, sometimes or another, they're using fillers, a lot of, uh, um, um, uh, well, 
But here in Malaysia, many of us having la. We added at the end of words that we're using. Okay la. But in public speaking, of course, we try to avoid that uh, verbal habit, use of distractive fillers. All right? So mainly, the three main differences between public speaking and having conversation 